In this video, I'll just quickly provide an overview of the FCC National Broadband Map. When you arrive at the landing page of the map, you can immediately search by a specific address using the search bar. Underneath the search bar, you have four, uh, four options to choose from uh, to look at data. Uh, the first is the location summary, which you can also reach by entering an address in the search bar. And it allows you to look at um, specific location level information about broadband availability. Um, the providers tab allows you to search and display broadband availability per provider. Um, so something like Comcast, or if you have a, a telephone cooperative that provides internet service at your home, you could search for that name. Area. Um, allows you to search by um, specific geography types like um, county, state, congressional district, tribal area, etc. And the download tab is where you can download um, specific data that are displayed in this map. And the about tab um, link up here above the address bar um, brings you to a page that briefly uh, provides an overview of the map itself, um, the data that are included, how you can challenge, um, and license information. To search for a specific location in the map, we'll first enter our address in the search bar and hit enter. You can see in the upper right hand corner that this has brought us to the location summary tab. On this page, in the center of the page, you'll see a gray pointer, and that is the where the map has brought us to the location that we entered the address. Um, over on the right-hand side, you'll see the address again listed, and underneath that in red text, it says no location data. This is only because we have not yet clicked on the specific location point um, in the map. And once we do that, you can see, um, that information is populated that right hand side of the screen. So this includes information about the location itself, as well as um, broadband availability information um, at the bottom. Uh, and then below the availability data, you can see we have a map legend. So uh, green dots on the map are indicating that coverage is available. Red dots indicate coverage is not available. Gray dots indicate the location of a government building, public library, or other location that would typically not subscribe to a mass market broadband service. The red or green designation of a dot is indicated by this section of text here, which is actually acting as a type of filter on the points. Um, to change the filter settings, which currently are displaying any type of uh, technology, which means it could be cable, satellite, DSL, anything like that, um, at speeds of 25 over 3 or greater. So if we just want to look at only wired connections, we would click all wired, and we want to see only connections that are greater than or equal to 100 over 20 megabytes per second. So with that, you can see not much has changed in this area. If we were to change it to a much faster speed, you can see this neighborhood up here in the corner. And if we shift over just a little bit close by, you can see um, these locations are not considered served by a wired connection at this speed. Okay, um, if we change it back to 100 over 20, that story changes. So you can see there are fewer locations that are displaying as not served. So that's just important to keep in mind as you're um, searching around and looking at locations, this served or unserved status is going to be based off of this filter setting here. Now, um, one nice feature of this map is that once um, you've submitted a location challenge, a missing location or availability challenge, 
you can see those almost, I believe, me immediately in the map. And so you can see there's already been a challenge filed um, over the Seward Montessori School. And if we scroll down on the right hand side a little bit, you can see we've got a few new colored points added to our map. So we have location challenges in blue, missing locations in purple, and availability challenges in yellow. If we click on the location here, you can see that this challenge was submitted on November 8th as an incorrect location building type.